If you are interested in adding leaderboards to your Lifter LMS website, click the first link in the description below this video and pick up a copy of the Gammy Press Leaderboards add-on. Then follow along in this video to see how you can set everything up for your site. In this video, I'm going to cover how you can add a leaderboard to your Lifter LMS website so that you could have students uh, shown on a public leaderboard as to which ones are the most active or whatever you really want to award points for. In this video, I'm going to show how you can set up Gammy Press so you can award points to users when they do specific things like completing a lesson, completing a course, completing a quiz, and then you can rank them on a leaderboard that is shown to the um, entire suite of students on your website. The first thing we need to make sure we have are four key plugins. Uh, three of them are free, and one of them is a paid plugin. Uh, the first one is the Lifter LMS core plugin, Gammy Press, the Gammy Press plus Lifter LMS integration, that's going to give us some Lifter LMS specific features, and Gammy Press leaderboards, that's going to allow us to actually display people on a leaderboard. And once you have those four plugins installed on your website here, we will now be able to create a point type that we can give users. So you can see we have this Gammy Press on the sidebar here now that I have the uh, Gammy Press. Uh, the four plugins required for this setup installed. I have this Gammy Press option on the sidebar here. If I click here, it's going to take me to the point types. And a point type, I'm going to add a new one at the top here. You can call it whatever you want. Um, maybe it's something specific to your brand. I'm just going to call it like course points or progress points. So I'm going to type progress point here as my singular name of my point type and then progress points. I'm going to leave the slug blank here. But now I need to say, when can people get these points? So there's all sorts of triggers you can have, and you could set up as many triggers as you want to. I'm just going to say lesson here. I'm going to say complete a lesson. So whenever a user completes a lesson on my website, they're going to get one progress point. And they can do this unlimited times, earn one progress point with a zero maximum. So now I'm going to say save my progress points. And that's all I need to set up here. Let me actually publish my points here to make this a little clearer. It says draft right there, but once I publish, they're going to earn one progress point and they have unlimited maximum. You could set a maximum if you wanted to, but that's getting a little more complicated. I'm just going to leave it. Whenever you complete a lesson, you get one progress point. And I could even add another point award if I want to say enrolls in a course. Whenever you enroll in a course, you also get a, a progress point. So now there's multiple ways you could earn progress points on my website, and you could just add as many as you want to. You could even award like two points for a course enrollment and one point for completing a lesson. Um, you could even say enrolls in a specific course so or a specific lesson. So if you complete lesson one, you get five points. Lesson two, you get three points and stuff like that. You can really break it down however you want to, and that's a really cool feature. So let me go ahead and update here. So now I have the ability for people to earn points on my website here. So now that people are earning points, what can we do with those points? The first thing I'm going to do on my site here is add this Gammy Press points shortcode to my student dashboard page in Lifter LMS. That way when students are on the dashboard, they can see how many points they have. So let me go to my dashboard here. I'm going to edit the page and pop the shortcode in. And you can put the shortcode anywhere you want to. I'm just going to put it at the start right above my This uh, Gutenberg block editor doesn't like the um, the classic editor block. So let me move the shortcode here to the top. I pasted my shortcode right here on the dashboard and then update and view my page. And so I have zero progress points. Uh, that's because I haven't completed any lessons. I haven't enrolled in any new courses. So let me actually go complete a lesson real quick. Now that we have the course points set up, if I mark this as complete, I should get one progress point if I go back to my dashboard. So I completed my lesson and if I go back, I now have one progress point. So that's awesome. So now I can earn points, I can see how many points I have. The next step is the leaderboard. And what I could do is, probably I'll just put the leaderboard on the student dashboard page right here. But if you wanted to, the leaderboard is going to be a short code. So you could put it on a separate page or really design it however you want to. I'm just going to put the leaderboard right here on my my dashboard page. So let me go create my first leaderboard. In Gammy Press on the sidebar here, we're going to go to leaderboards, just like we created points. Now we're going to add a new leaderboard, and I will call this leaderboard maybe um, 
student engagement uh, leaderboard, something like that. And then I can see all sorts of details here for my leaderboard. We're really going to look at this metrics to track and I'm just going to track progress points. That's the only thing you could really get complicated with this and say the person with the most ranks, which is another uh, thing other than points you can work with Gammy Press, the person with the most like progress points, you could add other point types and get really complicated. I'm going to keep it simple and go with just progress points. Whoever has the most progress points is going to be at the top of the leaderboard. So I'm going to check progress points is what we are tracking on this leaderboard. And I could say a period. So the most progress points earned in the last week or in this um, current week, who's earned the most progress points. If I say none, it'll just be all time uh, who has the most points. And on my leaderboard, I want to select what to display. I want to display the user avatar, their display name, and the number of points they've earned. And, and then you can set some things for like the size of the user avatar and, and stuff like that. If you wanted to have a search bar where people could search up on the leaderboard where they're at, you could do that. Um, but what I'm going to do is go ahead and publish my leaderboard with just those settings. And you'll notice here I have my Gammy Press leaderboard shortcode. That's just like the um, points shortcode. Anywhere I paste the shortcode, it's going to display my leaderboard. So I'm just going to put it right here on the dashboard page and keep it simple. Let's put it right there at the top and then update. Go ahead and view my page. And it currently says no users are ranked on the leaderboard. And that's just because I had this hide administrator feature right here on um, because you might want to hide yourself as an administrator so you're not like competing with students for having course points. So um, I'm going to turn off hide administrator since I'm a website admin. We want to show me uh, as an example here. And then another thing to look at is this cache option. You're probably going to, I'm going to turn this off for the example, but if you have like hundreds and hundreds of users, you might want to enable this cache so that the leaderboard loads faster. It's loading a lot of data with, you know, all the users, what their points are and all sorts of things. So um, typically if you have a bunch of users, you'll want to turn this on. But since I'm only using one user, I'm going to turn it off and then I'm going to update my leaderboard here and then here on my dashboard page, you can see I am now on the leaderboard with one progress point and we have all of the search features on here, but you can see now if I don't want people to be able to search on the leaderboard, I can simply go back and forth here and then change some things. If I don't want the avatars to display, I could hide those. And um, if I didn't want this custom sorting, I could turn that off as well. But now all of the users on the website are going to be ranked on this leaderboard based on their progress points. You can see the progress points on the dashboard and it's a super clean, easy way to add leaderboards to your website. And with these shortcodes, just like I said, you can put them on a different page if you want to, you can customize them. It's a really open-ended tool and it's, um, it's, a, it's a pretty cool setup to see. So yeah, this has been Will Middleton from WPCourseGuide.com. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next video.